Hello and welcome back to PowerSlide TV for another episode of Speaking Specs. Today I've got with me the USD Aeon 80. So the Aeon 80 is our crossover, urban, aggressive, hybrid model. Uh, shares the characteristics of both an urban and an aggressive skate. So being an aggressive skate, it has a H block, sole plates, and all the stuff you need to do, aggressive grinds and stunts, and a more stronger supportive shell in comparison to an FSK skate. As an FSK skate, it has a full flat setup of 80 millimeter wheels, which is generally what we assume to be an urban skate, 80 millimeter plus, anything beneath 80 millimeter, generally accept to be an aggressive setup. So sharing both the characteristics of an urban and aggressive skate allows you to be a little bit more creative with your skating. You can still do slides, you can do grinds with it, or you can do any combination of slides into grinds. Uh, as far as an aggressive skate goes, the sole plates are still very much a standard size. The frame is a little bit taller, of course, because it has to handle 80 millimeter wheels. However, being a unibody concept, the 80 millimeter wheel is actually countersunk into the boot. So compared to other 80 millimeter setups on the market with, for example, a Trinity or a 165 millimeter setup, uh, the ride height will actually feel a little bit lower and a little bit more comfortable. So for an urban skater coming into this, it will feel much more aggressive than you're imagining. Um, or much more similar to an aggressive skate than you're imagining. The 80 millimeter wheels are power slide spinner wheels. They're 88A and a bullet profile. So they're very agile. 88A, they're reasonably hard enough. So when you do your grinds, if you do catch them a little bit, it shouldn't be too bad. As far as catching your wheels, I mean, it is quite a modest H block. So for an experienced aggressive skater, you'll actually find it quite a, it'll still be a challenging, but very rewarding setup. So to do a Royale, for example, or a backslide, you're gonna have to get very low on it to make sure your wheels don't catch, which means when you do do one, it will look very good. It'll be a much more aesthetically pleasing Royale than doing it, say, in a MOOC frame or a freestyle frame, or whatever way you can just jump on any which way. If you're a little bit uncertain about skating such a large wheel for doing grinds, you can, of course, put in smaller wheels. So undercover, make a 76 millimeter wheel, for example, or you could even go as low as a 72 millimeter and just free up a couple of extra millimeter space in the middle there. So the main characteristic of an Aeon skate, of course, is the unibody concept. With the unibody concept, by that I mean it is all one piece, the entire setup of frame, sole plate, and shell. Now, the benefits of having a unibody concept is that you get a much more direct energy transfer, firstly. So when you stride, energy isn't lost through, say, a uh, sole plate or frame bolts or uh, bolts or whatever. The energy goes directly through the shell into the frame and onto the wheels, rather than it being lost through various connecting points or various other almost insulators between you, your push and the wheel. Um, and it's really quite noticeable. Like I find also for when I do grinds, your foot is much lower in the shell in comparison to a UFS skate. So you can feel the the ledge or the rail or whatever just a little bit beneath you. And it just gives me like, well, I find this personally, it just gives me a little bit more control in my skating. Um, yeah, so going top to bottom through the skate, it's a full flat set of 80 millimeter spinner wheels with ABEC 9 bearings. So one piece frame sole plate. The, uh, the laces are power slide wax laces. They're pretty grippy. Also, unlike other AR models, it comes with a 45 degree ratchet buckle. And also the generation two Aeon cuff, which has been slightly redesigned on the shape here. So it comes up a little bit higher. It used to be a little bit more diagonal that way. And it's a little bit softer, making it a little bit more forgiving for your lateral support when you're boning over for grinds or slides, for example. There's also a MyFit Skinny Boy liner inside of it, which has lacing on the front here. So between the wax laces, this lacing system, and the 45 degree buckle, there's various ways that you can lace this up depending on how much support if you're looking for more or less. I've seen some people have removed this lacing and added longer hockey laces and laced it all the way through right up to the top to get a really sort of tight drawn in feeling. Or the way I skate it is I don't even bother doing up these laces. I just do the 45 degree strap down enough and that holds my heel in plenty and I can still wiggle my feet and have a bit more space across the bridge and the arch of my foot. The second, sorry, not second skin, the skinny boy liner, which is very similar to a second skin liner in the sense that it has a thin neoprene toe box, but a much more defined heel and Achilles padding. So the benefit of this is that when coupled with the 45 degree ratchet buckle, 
You can lock your heel in very nice and tightly, but still allow you to wiggle with the bridge of your foot and your toes, allowing just a little bit more comfort for longer skating periods and longer sessions. The entire front of the toe box is neoprene. So from here all the way over here is also neoprene, but also as far back as the 45 degree. So this entire front bit is very soft and very flexy, but when you've got your heel locked in place, it just allows a little bit more comfort and freedom inside the skate. The liner is of course fully heat moldable. So if you stick it in the oven at 80 degrees for about nine minutes-ish, uh, you can then put the liner back into the skate and it will then mold to the shape of your foot, giving it a more sort of ergonomic feel to the anatomy of your own foot. If you want a full heat mold tutorial though, look on our YouTube page and just have a quick search of heat mold tutorial, my fit liners, and there will be plenty of options that will come up and give you a much more detailed overview than what I just quickly surmised there. Yeah, so again, part of the Aeon range, this is the largest size Aeon we do. There's the Aeon 60s, 72s and 80s. This is the probably the nearest to an urban skate. Kind of just depends which way you want to look at it. It could be the most aggressive urban skate ever or the most urban aggressive skate ever. I like it because it gives you the best sort of benefits of both. Nice crossover, crossover skate. So you can just be a little bit more creative with your tricks. You can, you know, do all sorts of grinds and slides and combinations of one into the other. But yeah, if you've got any more specific questions about urban and aggressive hybrids, various flat setups, the unibody concept, by all means, please comment down below. And I'll take my time to answer each one in turn. So it's been a power slide speaking specs of the USD Aon 80.